In this guide, we're going to give you all the information you need to fully program and control your Honeywell T3R room thermostat. Now this version has got a heatable cover on it, but it is the exact same version that you buy from Honeywell. So in order to operate it, the first thing you need to see is this staging screen. So the large bold font is the current room temperature. We've got the time above and this unit actually has a warning and that's because the receiver isn't wired in and it's telling us that it can't see the boiler receiver. We're going to come back to that later on. So to control our unit, the first thing we need to do is raise this flap here and you've got three buttons and you've got a plus and a minus on the right hand side. Now to get into the menus of the thermostat, you just need to press one of the buttons to open it up. So we'll press that one. And we've now had some additional functions appear. So starting from left to right, we've got menu, we've got our current programming state, so automatic or manual, and we've got power on. So let's go through those various settings now. So if we press power to activate our unit, we then get menu. And in the menu button, we've now got three choices. We can go into the programming mode, we can go into the away mode and we can go into the settings for time and date. So let's first of all start with the programming mode of this thermostat. So once you've got programming flashing on the top left hand side, press enter. And now you've got your days at the top and you're gonna have some dates as well. So you've got one to seven on the left hand side. So Monday being day one, we can roll through to the day we want to set, but let's start on Monday. So press enter to go into the menu. What appears now is P1, P2, P3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the program modes. The way to sort of understand and use these is every odd number is on and every even number is off. So P1 is our first setting. We're still on Monday. We've got that indication there of the number one. And what this is saying right here is at 7 o'clock in the morning, we want it to be 22.5 degrees. Now. To enter into that and adjust it, if you press enter while P1 is flashing, we can turn the time that we want the thermostat to come on. So let's set it for six in the morning, press enter. And at six in the morning, we would like the house to be about 20 degrees. Okay, and that's gonna save. The next thing we need to do is to set our next off time. Because like we said before, odd numbers are on and even numbers are off. So enter in and we're gonna say nine o'clock, we would like it to turn off and we want it to move to a setback temperature of 16 degrees or 15 degrees, whatever we want. And you move through this menu now, setting these on and off times as you go. So we're just gonna skip through them really quick. And once you're at the end, it's then gonna come on to Tuesday. Now, if you wanted to, you could just press copy. So if you want the same settings every day, you can just copy that to day you know, three, enter. And then we can press copy again. So on day four, we can do it again. We can do it on day five. And you might have a different setting for the weekend and you might have a different setting for the weekdays depending on your energy usage. Once you've been into the menu and set it, you can just come out by pressing the back button and you'll get back to this screen here and you return back to the standby menu. Now, what's really important when you're using your thermostat is that when you set these programs that your time and date settings have been set correctly. Now, to access these, press the menu button, use the up and down to get to the settings section, enter, and we need to set up and make sure our thermostat is set correctly. So the year is 2024, press enter. The month, we're in month 11, this is November, press enter, it's the 27th, press enter. And now we're gonna set the times. So right now it's 9.28, so you would just play around, click into it, set the one you want, so nine, and then we're gonna enter in, change it to 28, and save. So it's really important if you're gonna use the calendar function, if you're gonna use the programming function, make sure the time and date is set correctly because obviously if you set a time for your heating to come on but the clock is set incorrectly, you're gonna be wondering why it's not working. Get back into our menu by pressing the right hand button again and we're gonna move on to the next section which is auto and manual. So this is how you can use your thermostat. So to select this, 
if you click into auto, that's that pre-program that we've just set now. So if you want to leave it just on those pre-programmed times, leave it in auto mode. And what it will do is hi highlight on the left-hand side which section you're currently in. So right now we're in P2, which is off. We've got the thermostat set to 16. That's the target temperature in the small font at the top. And we've got our current room temperature at 25. Now it's not actually 25 degrees in here now, it's because I'm holding this unit. So when you're doing this, Obviously, you are going to see the room temperature increase quite a lot. The manual mode is by cl clicking here, basically turns off that pre-programmed function and the manual mode just enables you to set temperature only. And the way you control this is, like I said before, the top small font temperature is the target temperature you've got the thermostat set to and this is the current room temperature. So if we want to turn this thermostat on, then we need to exceed the current room temperature. So if we turn it to like 26, leave it, you don't need to press anything and that will set and now the heating will activate. Once it reaches 26.5, the heating will turn off and likewise, if you want to turn the heating off, just turn it to a lower set point, around 19 degrees as an example, leave it, the heating will then turn off until it drops to 19 degrees and it will come back on to maintain that temperature. Now, just a bit of advice here, setting temperatures for your thermostat is entirely up to you, depending on how sort of warm you want your property, but a good target temperature is around 21 degrees. Anything more than that, you're gonna be using a lot of energy to heat your home, and what you need to check is that you've not got it turned up too high. There's a common kind of misconception with heating controls that the higher you turn the temperature, the hotter the radiators get. That's not true, the radiators will always be the temperature that the boiler has governed at, what this will do is work into a target temperature. Just something to point out when you're programming your thermostat, it's important that you set every day when you want the pre-programming to activate, because if you don't do that, then the thermostat will still turn on, but it will only turn on for the manufacturer's preset schedule. So if you just set Monday and Tuesday and leave the thermostat, Monday and Tuesday will behave how you program them. So so if you just set Monday and Tuesday, the thermostat will behave as you programmed it. However, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday will remain in the factory pre-configuration. So it's important to set all the days as you want them. What's also useful to know is if you have it in the auto mode and you're a bit cold because it's in maybe P2, it's in an off period, you can simply just select manual, turn your thermostat up beyond the point of the current room temperature, and then once it's warm again, you can switch it back to the auto mode on the actual receiver. Now other settings in our thermostat here, obviously on the right hand side, you've got this button. This is the on and off button. So sometimes you'll think your thermostat isn't working. You've maybe got an error. Just check that you've actually got it turned off and you just press that button on the right hand side. Right now, this thermostat is off. So whether we've got it in manual mode or we've got it in program mode, it's not gonna do anything if it's in the off setting. To turn it on, press the button once and you'll see some temperatures at the top appear. Now the only other setting that we have on this actual thermostat is a holiday mode. So on the right hand side here, if we cycle through our menus, you've got an away mode. If you activate the away mode, the thermostat will ignore any preset parameters and it will just drop to a frost setting. So if you're going away for like two weeks, you can put it in away mode and you can set a time. It's not really a function that many people use. What I would do in that scenario is just simply turn it onto manual, turn the target temperature down just to keep the house above freezing, maybe nine degrees, and just leave it. The boiler will come on and turn off to maintain nine degrees, which is pretty cool. It probably even won't get there. Some other features around this product. Obviously, if you're in manual mode, you don't need to have the flap open to control the unit. You can just turn it up, you can turn it down, it's quite a handy feature, you don't have to lift the flap up. Now let's talk about some troubleshooting with this unit. So the only real issue you'll have with this thermostat is the fact it's lost communication with the actual receiver. And like we've got now a warning on the front of this screen, we've got a warning sign and it's flashing a signal sign. So that means it's lost connection with that receiver. This is the actual receiver that will be wired next to your boiler and you've got two lights here. If you see that you've got a red light on the actual receiver itself and you've got this warning message up here, it means it's lost pairing. Now, the first thing to check is the batteries in your unit. Now, you can do this by slipping out this bottom cover here, 
replacing the batteries, sometimes what you'll find is the screen is actually still working, but as the battery power drops in these units, it can cause the connection to fall away from the actual receiver. Once you've done that, if it doesn't reconnect, then what you can do is hold down this button and this button, and that will pair it, that's for three seconds. If that doesn't reconnect it, in an emergency, what you can do is there's a little button on the actual receiver to manually turn the boiler on. Just press that button once, you'll hear a click, and the boiler will ignite. Now, it will stay on until you press that button again to turn the actual boiler off. What you'll find in nine times out of 10 of these situations when it loses connectivity, if you replace the batteries or bring the thermostat closer to the receiver, it will automatically reconnect to the unit. If you get stuck, then Honeywell do have a technical support line who you can talk you through how to reconnect your T3R to its receiver. Okay.